What is up, investors? My name is Rick Dom, and today we have the fast Venmo review and tutorial. And what I mean by that is we will be breaking down the five most important features on the Venmo app. And if you're new to Venmo, by the time this video is done, you will completely understand how to use the app and totally know what's going on on Venmo. But if you already have the app, you're gonna see how this stacks up and how each feature rates in my five-star rating scale. So by the end, you'll see if it's an app worth keeping and new Venmo users, you'll see if it's an app even worth downloading for you, but you'll know how to use it. So stay tuned, we're gonna get right into it and let's go. All right, the first category that we're gonna get into in this review that Venmo will be judged on is the app setup. And just like any money-making app, you're gonna have to do a bit of registration beforehand before you can start sending and receiving money. And fortunately, Venmo's setup is pretty standard for really any money processing app. The nice thing about Venmo as you're setting up your account is you have the option to pull information in with Facebook. This makes setup a little bit quicker because what you really want to do is just start sending and receiving money, what you're actually using the app for. Now, in that actual linking account process to create your profile, you're going to have to enter your bank information into Venmo. Now, I use an obscure credit union, so that just goes to show that if you're with any major bank or really any credit union in the United States, Venmo will be able to find you and get you verified. Now, the verification part happens through Venmo depositing two microtransactions into your bank account, you know, five cents, 10 cents. And they'll withdraw that in just a few days. But that whole process before you prove to them that you are the owner of your bank account with those transactions, that takes anywhere between one and three business days. So if you're looking to send money immediately, Venmo is not your option. You can get set up in the Cash App. And I've got a video on this in just about two minutes, which is incredible. Venmo verifies your existence with these microtransactions. And that could take a few days. So if you need to send money in a pinch, Venmo is not your solution. Once you get that set up, you're good to go and you're in. In terms of setup for the overall review guys, to be honest, because it does the microtransactions and because there are apps out there that get this done faster, I've got to only give it about three out of five stars for the setup. The second feature that we really want to get into on Venmo is actually see how much you can send because Venmo, a lot of people use that for their rent payments and this can get pretty expensive. The first week that you're in the Venmo app, you've got a policy that you're only going to be able to send $299 or less. This is why they're verifying your identity and really confirming that you're not there to scam them, that you actually want to use this app to complete monetary transactions. But after that, that policy really eases up. And from the first week on out, for as long as you use the app, when Venmo confirms your identity, they raise that weekly limit to $5,000 a week. So that's pretty reasonable on a rolling basis. Every single week, you'll free up $5,000 that you can send and receive money from the app. In terms of rating for that, you can't get any better than $5,000. The $299 limit in your first week is a bit of a restriction, but I don't see that coming into play as a big turnoff for many users. We're giving that a full five out of five stars. All right, now we really get into what Venmo is very unique and known for as the social money sending app. So customized usernames are a big part of Venmo. When you sign up for Venmo, you get to customize a username. It's not just assigned to you, you can add and alter what you're actually calling on the app. And that actually makes this difficult to find. You'll see here in the menu section that mine is a pretty simple one. And even a problem that the app has had is it's so difficult to find people's usernames that when someone says to Venmo, you really have to make sure that you're typing in the exact username, including dashes, semicolons, underscores that you want to use in your account or else that money is going to go to a completely random person and then you're in big trouble trying to get that back. So Venmo has had to go to the point where they invented a QR code just to get you to actually scan somebody's account because these mistakes happen so much that people create these crazy usernames and it's very difficult for their friend to get the exact amount of underscores between the first and the last name. So in terms of customized usernames, it seems like a nice idea and it's a little bit fun. 
but you've got to only give it two stars because the functionality is just not there. It's difficult to find people's usernames and link your friends that you actually want to send the money to. The most unique feature and feature number four that you're going to want to pay attention to in Venmo is the friends list. Now Venmo has three different tabs on their main screen. They've got the globe tab, which shows you people all across the world making transactions here, uh, which is really quite wild because I can't imagine any circumstance that you would want to see random members that you have no affiliation with across the globe sending and receiving money. But hey, Venmo does it for you and it also gives you the option to go ahead and place a like on that. Venmo narrows it down a little bit more and also gives you a actual friends list that you can send and see that you can see your friends sending and receiving money. Now, this is pretty cool until you realize that a lot of transactions are fairly private and Venmo makes it a little bit difficult and actually got sued a few years ago because they made it so difficult to hide your transactions from your friends because the main point of this app was to send and receive money in a social network. So they really wanted to highlight that, but as somebody sending and receiving money, I don't necessarily want my friends to see all of my transactions on here. So it's kind of a good way to stalk people if you're into that, but if you're not into being stalked, it's a really negative negative drawback there for you. And then finally, you've got your own personal tab for sending and receiving money, which is good because it's an easy transaction log. In terms of this feature, it's one of the main ones on Venmo and what makes it unique, but I've got to give it one star because you just don't want that exposure out there for the world to see. All right, and the last feature that really wraps up the functionality on the app that is just a really sweet feature is the ability to use your voice without even opening the app to send money to people. <clears throat> so let's do a bit of an experiment right here. Hey Siri, send money on Venmo. Who are you sending money to? Rob Lentini. How much? $10. Like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, I have your Venmo payment of ten dollars to Rob Lentine with the note. See, it's a really awesome way to just quickly send money and hey, it's a cool party trick if you owe somebody money, you want to make it seem like you're tech savvy. So in terms of the Siri functionality, I've gotta give the Venmo app four stars. Now, those were the top five features that you're really going to want to know if you're getting into Venmo and thinking about downloading and using it. Venmo is not a complicated app. You set it up and then you've got the social networking feature, which really makes it stand out. It's actually the one number one ranked app for audience reach for sending money. So the most popular peer to peer money transaction app on the market right now. It's most commonly used to pay friends, although at some point Venmo is really going to want to start interacting with businesses and getting those transactions up because there's no fee associated with using Venmo when you send and receive money from friends. Venmo's hoping to make their money if they can turn this into an app used to complete transactions at businesses, but they're not quite there yet because still 94% of their user base is just friend to friend money sending. It's got a bit of a confusing interface and I don't really see the value in having everybody know and you being able to know everybody else's transactions. It's kind of weird and something that you'd want to hide, but that's really the main point of Venmo's app. Overall, I think this is an app that is going to be yesterday's news in just a few years. It's managed to hang on because it was the first app to market in the money sending territory and it's got the financial backing of PayPal to really keep boosting and letting it fly. But that being said, the functionality is okay, the interface is decent, and it's got almost a full five-star review on the App Store, but myself, I'm just gonna have to give it a 3.5. I think in a few years, Venmo will not be around for so much longer. So guys, thank you so much for listening to this Venmo tutorial and review. I hope it was fast enough for you, please, drop the video a like and subscribe for more app reviews. We'll catch you in the next one.